Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We will continue our lesson in a new chapter, chapter 5, functions and graph. This lecture is divided into five lectures, and each lecture should cover different learning outcomes. For lecture one, at the end of the lecture, you should be able to define a relation and a function. Second one, understand the concepts of one to one and on two. Third one. Identify a function from the graph by using vertical line test. First one, sketch the graph of constant, linear, quadratic, and cubic functions. And finally, you should be able to state the domain range of the constant, linear, quadratic, and cubic function. Uh, we start off with the functions. Before we define a function, we should define a relation first. A relation is a correspondence between a first set X called the domain and a second set Y called the range such that each member of the domain corresponds to at least one member of the range. So this one is the domain. And this one is the range. So for the domains, the members are 2, 3, and 5. While for the range, the members are 6, 9, and 10. This is the relation. It is defined as a relation in whom every element in the domain has a unique image in the range. In other words, a function is one-to-one -one relation and many-to-one -one relation. So for one-to-one -one relation here, so one here, it comes from the domain. It means one element from the domain and this one is one here is from the range. What does it mean? one element from the range so for many here this one is also coming from the domain and one here for the range next one you identify the one to one relation in on two here we have four diagrams here so the first one here is one to one relation in on two Again, this one is one-to-one -one relation because each element in the domain has one element in the range. And why is it on two here? Because we will see each element in the range which are one, two and three, all the elements are used. That's why we call it on two. For second diagram, we have one to one relation and not on two. So again, one element in the domain should have one element in the range. However, this one, this one is not on two. Why? So we take a look at the range here. So we may notice that elements in the range are 1, 2, 3 and 4 however we notice here 4 here is not used so therefore we we'll regard this one as not on 2 next one is many to 1 relation and on 2 so this one is many why? because we have many elements in the domain but all the elements only have one element in the range and why this one is on two because we have only one element in the range which is two and this two has it pairs 
in the domain and for the final diagrams we have many to one relations again so we have many elements which are uh, a b and c and this a b and c correspond to only one element in the range which is two however here for the range we have one two and three as the elements but two and three sorry three and one here it doesn't have the domain so that's why we call it not on two mapping is another name for function a mapping or function f from a set a to a set b is written as this way so if an element x object of set a is mapped into an element y in set b we say that y is an image of x the image of x is represented by fx and we write as y equals to fx so how to identify relation and a function to determine whether a relation is a function we have two methods so first one is arrow diagram second one is vertical line test so what is vertical line test or VLT vertical lines are drawn parallel to y axis if the vertical line cuts the graph at only one point then the graph is a function however if the vertical line cuts the graph at more than one point then the graph is not a function we will see example 5.1 regarding the vertical line test Consider the graph below and state whether the graph represents functions or not. So for the first graph, we have cubic functions and the graph is represented by the green line. Okay, so with this one we know the cubic graph. But whether the cubic graph is a function or not, we have to decide. So what we are going to do is we sketch the dotted vertical line which is given by the blue one and we realize that it cuts the green line at one point so we can conclude that the graph is a function because the vertical line cuts the graph only at one point so the cubic graph is a function for the second graph we have x equals to y square right and the graph x equals to y square is given by the green line okay here we have to decide either x equals to y square is a function or not so what we are going to do is we sketch the vertical line which is the dotted blue line here and we realize the vertical lines cut the graph x equals to y square at two point so first one is here second one is here since the vertical line cuts the graph at two points we conclude that the graph is not a function because the vertical line cuts the graph at more than one point 